We are officially introing. All right, good. <laughs> Bowling fans, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a special video for our review of the Brunswick Max Lane Conditioning Machine. Joe, tell them what's next. Intro. That's right. to give you guys some uh, a little bit of backstory so we've had a ton of different lane conditioning machines going back to my grandfather that actually used to do this by hand all you young bowlers watching this video just think about that one dude going out there with like a spray bottle and oil and oiling and cleaning every single lane by hand from that technology up to the the wick machines into the Brunswick system now that has injectors that actually puts the oil directly on the boards that you choose in the programming, but we'll get into that after. We're working on a video, Joe and myself, on the history of the house shot, the history of oil and why bowling alleys originally used oil on the lane surface. The actual intent was to protect the lane from the wooden bowling balls that they used to throw down there. And now, we're gonna to talk to Joe about his perspective on why as a bowler and a fan of like this channel or just bowling in general, why it's important to know what lane machine that your center is using. Joe? This, no, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. So, so. Everything's always good. <laughs> the puzzle, like leaving in the laughter, you know, we were talking about how uh, the reason it's important to know what lane conditioner, maybe even what lane machine, and especially definitely what lane surface that you're bowling on in your center or tournaments that you're going to. I want to hear, Joe, let's hear your perspective because before we started filming, you had a couple of really awesome points. Let these guys know. So one of the things that I was thinking about, I just said so as well. One of the things that kind of came to me when we were talking about doing this video and setting everything up was, why would any bowler who comes to this channel want to watch this? You never see lane machine reviews online. You always see bowling balls and it's always some guy wheeling it and throwing 16 strikes, right? Yep. Not here. <laughs> not <but> here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not on this channel. Why should you care? What's going on? Why should you watch this video? As a bowler, I think that it's easy to put on blinders and say, I bowl in a house on a challenge league and we throw on Route 66 and it plays exactly like this. And then you go, hey, I'm getting pretty good. I'm gonna go to a tournament somewhere. And you walk into a new house and nothing is familiar, obviously new house. But you look out and maybe you're used to bowling on Pro Anvil like we have here. And you look out and there's no tracer mark. So right away you know, oh, different surface. Something's different. And then maybe you go into the pro shop and you're talking to the guys like, hey, what's the shot today gonna be? Oh, Route 66. And you're thinking, yeah, I know this shot. I know that shot. I got this shot. What kind of oil do you guys use? And they go, oh, Brunswick Connect. And you go, oh. A little bit of knowledge, even watching one of these, you at least know to start questioning the shot. And that'll help you when you're looking at your arsenal and going, hey, I threw a shot that I always throw on 66 and it hooked three boards less. You'll always have the reference point of, yeah, I bowl on this shot, but you'll know to look for differences when you see different things in front of you. Every conditioner from every company has unique characteristics, right? The viscosity of oil is gonna change how much friction that ball sees on the lane. Even if you have Route 66 with four different types of oil on two different lane surfaces with three different machines, all of those variables will make that same lane pattern play completely different. When we had the PBA here, I had a couple people call and ask what machine we're using, what surface yep. they're bowling on, like all of those things. If you wanna be more competitive out there in those tournaments or even maybe local regional PBA stops, then find out what you're bowling on, find out what oil it is, and maybe even ask what machine it is too because all of those variables and all those different characteristics of all of those parts and components are gonna make lanes play completely different. And if you can't get it from the counter and the place has a pro shop, go, go into the pro shop go. because those guys just wanna talk anyway. <laughs> No, I mean, if you're working in a pro shop huh? these days, <laughs> you should know that stuff, you, right? You'll know that stuff about your home house, but you also love bowling and want to talk to people who love bowling. And if somebody comes in with that level of knowledge and goes, hey, 
what oil are you guys using? I love that. Like that. I love that. That gets you to know right away, hey, I'm going to talk to somebody who's got an idea yep. and this is going to be exactly. so fun. It's a lot easier to get those people going in the right direction with their equipment, with the way their fit is, just the way their shape and ball reaction should be. If they're open-minded enough to realize that what's on the lane is just as important what's in your hand, that's an easy customer to drill for. Yep. Next segment. <laughs> Overall, let's talk about the handling of this machine. Currently, we're using the Phoenix S from Kegel, which is a smaller machine. It's a little bit lighter. I don't know, man. So between myself, uh, Marcel, who's uh, you see him in videos also, all of us have used it. And I don't know, the, the, it's, the, it's kind of up in the air with which one's a little bit easier to kind of move around uh, the red machine or this guy right here. The handle is definitely a lot heavier, but it makes sense that having the handle heavy to offset the weight of the machine it really is, it's bigger, it is probably like 50 pounds heavier than the Phoenix is. I'll look up those weights after, but to move it around, man, just one arm, you can just kind of swing this around. The wheels move really nicely. It, it, it operates pretty well going in and off, uh, off the lane. The overall materials, everything feels really solid. So yeah, man, there, there you go. Handles great. The two guide wheels on the sides are a little bit bulkier than the Phoenix S is. I think it handles pretty good overall for being a bigger machine. So this thing still has a, like a start stop button right here. So you have to hit this button before you get it on the lane and let the liner duster kind of spool up before you drop it onto the lane bed. Okay, let's talk about accessibility. So we've got a switch down here that holds the cover. The handle kind of folds down onto the top of the machine. You saw that earlier in the video. It has these two telescopic, right, Joe? Is that telescopic? Yep. Sure. So your door is open just like so. You have your waste tank right here. You have your conditioner tank right here. Cleaner it over there. The really awesome thing about this is that Inside that conditioner tank, there's element that picks up current. So if there's any water inside that conditioner tank, it'll send a signal to shut off the pump so no water gets into the actual cleaning system, which is a really good thing because trust me, I've done it, Junior's done it. You always, you're in a rush and you put some cleaner into the conditioner tank and that's just, that's just bad news, Joe. It's bad news, everybody. Don't do that. So that's a great feature from Brunswick, it's awesome. So this is the machine in the uh, upright position. We have the, every machine obviously is, is gonna have a liner cloth. So this is our cloth right here. Uh, there's four nozzles underneath the machine right there that are the cleaning elements. So those are the nozzles that you gotta get in there. You gotta clean those out, make sure that they're pumping all right. I think Mark's gonna, Mark's gonna join us here. Pop and say hi. Hi. So you have your four cleaning nozzles. You have your liner cloth, which just takes up all the excess liquid and really gets that lane clean. Brunswick has this angled squeegee kind of foam thing. So that's gonna pull all the moisture from the corners of the lanes or the sides of the lanes. And then that vacuum and this blade that captures that moisture and it pulls it into your vacuum hose and back into your waste tank. Down here you have another set of squeegees. There's a bunch of squeegees on this thing, which is good, I guess. So you, apparently you've gotta replace these every three months, I think you said, three to four months, I think when Dennis was here. The liner cloth, you can get up to a thousand or twelve hundred lanes out of this cloth where currently we're getting about 375, 350, somewhere in that range. Underneath this squeegee here you have 39 injectors. All of these injectors have oil that actually comes out of these injectors directly onto the lane itself. Brunswick calls this direct plus conditioning. This is their system. Makes more sense when you're setting the shot up. On, that, uh, on the programming screen. I'm not sure at what point in this video if I went to the programming screen already, but if I did, when you're on that screen, you can actually select each board and each injector and increase or decrease your oil volume. So that's pretty awesome. All of these injectors have to get clean. If there's an injector clog, it's gonna sense it. It'll, it'll show you an error message on your actual UI that you'll know that one of those injectors has failed or there's something that's going on there that needs your attention. Hi, 
I apologize in advance for the clarity here. I didn't know how to do a screen share with the Android tablet, but here is a view of the UI. I'm going into the pattern uh, library here and the design. I click this button and then all your patterns that are all pre-programmed in the machine are right there. Those are all the zones, lane zones, where you oil, where you adjust your volume. When you double tap in there, whoops, hit the lock button, let's unclick that, Oop, there we go. <laughs> when you hit the boards there, hit the lock button, and then you tap the set of boards you want to adjust, the up and down will control the volume, decreasing, increasing, however you want to do it. It's uh, pretty intuitive, very, very easy, I like it, so hit OK, back out, go to your next zone, there's that, so you can adjust that in there, jump out of here. Go to your third zone for this pattern. No uh, no oil out there, huh? Go to your final zone. This kind of acts like the drop brush for Kegel, so if you know how to use the Kegel machines, this is sort of your drop brush. When you are done, uh, actually before that, you can adjust the zone length, right? So by tapping the zone and then hitting your up arrow or down arrow, you can adjust how long that zone is just by doing that, and then when you hit exit, this is where you download that pattern that you just adjusted, and it is uh, it takes exactly this long, about seven seconds, I think, I read on the Brunswick site. So we're back into the design, there it is. This is the uh, overall uh, what's going on in your machine window here, your maintenance, your security, uh, all of your stuff. Uh, I, I gotta say, the, the amount of information that this thing stores for troubleshooting, you can also report any issues right to tech support. They can sign in or log in to your machine and see what's going on. So. The data logging and all of the troubleshooting is, it seems, so like I said, we only had it for a few weeks, but it seems like it'd be really pretty simple to get Brunswick in there to help you out if there's anything going on. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the Brunswick Max going up and down the lane and our review of it, complete with user interface and ease of use and all that fun stuff. So you got a lot of information, but what does it all mean? Let's uh, let's talk to Fred, whose yeah. job it's going to be to decide what to do with all of this and see what he thinks. Fred, what do you got? <clears throat> so overall, I personally feel like it's a well-built machine, very user-friendly. We can be in the Brunswick cloud. We have access to all those programs, right? That's awesome. I believe if we had more time with it and we could use a different oil, we'd probably have better results. Connect was was really slick, and to kind of operate, try to get that the pattern dialed in. We only you know we only had really two weeks, and we're using it during league, and it, it was tough, and we didn't want to put our, our customers you know we, it, it's not a great idea to kind of chain shots in the middle of the year anyway. But I chose kind of good spots to, to use the machine, see what uh, people thought of it, right? And we we tested it a bunch too. I think they did a great job. The I do like the injectors. It's going to be tricky to kind of. You gotta clean them out a ton. There's a little bit more preventive maintenance and there's a little bit, a little just more, a little side work that you gotta do. Yeah, That's fair. A little, more, a little more side work. So going there off of is. what you said, yep. maybe this isn't a in-season purchase. No, 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 no. Maybe this is something where if you're thinking about a new machine and this is on your radar with the cloud and the, the Android tablet it's pretty cool. already in it and the way that you can manipulate your shot once you get it dialed in, mm -hmm. Maybe this is something that you try over the summer and summertime you, purchase. You pick it up early and then you have some of your bowlers, your regulars come in, throw on different shots, figure out what you have, and then maybe you have a little bit more time to dial it in where it's not league night every night all the time. Absolutely agree. So that was our review. I feel I feel like that's a that's So what solid, would you man. give it though? Out of ten? Yeah, if you, let's do go... it like out of ten beer cans. <laughs> out of 10, what would you give it? 
I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it an eight. I think I'm gonna give it. An, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. All right. Is that yeah, eight man. like craft brew beers mm. or like eight Bud Lights? Uh, but I, I'm. I'm gonna go eight Coors Lights. Okay. Right now. I like Coors Light. I like Coors Light. Coors Lights. Coors Lights. We're not sponsored by Coors. We Light are either. not. Thank you, Coors Light, for not sponsoring this uh, channel or this video. Yeah. Drink responsibly. So let's let's get this thing wrapped up. First of all, let's thank Dennis. Gem no, oh no, let me let me get his name right. So long, wait. <laughs> Dennis Gemmer from Brunswick, and everyone at the Lane Development Machine Conditioning Department of Brunswick. I sure, guess, right? All yeah. those guys and ladies. I'm sure Brunswick ladies are out there. All those guys who let us uh, very nicely borrow this machine for a couple weeks and put it through the paces. If you guys want to have a demo of this machine at your bowling center, reach out to Brunswick. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I know that they'll bring this machine out to your bowling center and let you kind of demo or you know play around with it a bit. Don't tell them I sent you because I don't want to get in trouble. But I did read that on the I, I saw it on the website. I saw well, it on the go. website. It's real. It's there. So if you want to demo the Max or check it out or go to that uh, Brunswick Bowling Whatever.com and check out the videos that they have. But uh, ours is way more in depth. Yeah, absolutely. Way more. Thank you, Joe, for joining me again on a, another awesome video, and I appreciate his his outlook on this and his directive eye as well. He shot a lot of the B-roll that you watched, and thank you to uh, well everyone everyone watching right now. We appreciate it, man. We like doing this stuff, and it's fun doing machine reviews. I'm not sure how many more machines we can possibly review. Hey, Kegel. Yeah, uh, hey, Kegel. Uh, hey, <laughs> this is a Brunswick video. Hey, knock it off. Hey, but whatever. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it, and please. Hit those thumbs, and you know what? I, we gotta bring up people that watch our videos. Like eighty percent of them are not subscribed. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah. Because they all come from other sites. Other, other sites, which is which is good. Getting those referrals. Absolutely. So if you're first time here watching this video and uh, visiting this channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another online ball review or maybe even a lane machine review. Who knows? Who knows what we're gonna review next? I don't even know. I'm Fred. I'm Joe. We are Callahan's Performance Bowling, and we'll see you next time.